Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all safe and distanced. Um, where do I even begin with this video? So I'm sure a lot of you guys are experiencing the exact same thing as I am, but this week has been tremendously stressful and tremendously uprooting and chaotic and um, just so many things, so many emotions, so many stresses. Um, so San Francisco, and I think California for that matter, and a lot of other areas in the United States are under a mandatory quarantine, or um, I think it started off as like a shelter. From what I understand, we've been ordered to stay in our houses for about a month, if not more. And that's because social distancing right now is crazy important. I am out of work for who knows how long, at least four weeks. And it's just, it's insane. I've never dealt with something like this before, but as scary and as uncertain as these times are, there's one thing I am certain of, and that is my love for ramen. I do love ramen. I could eat it at any point in the day. I could eat it for breakfast. I could eat it in the middle of the night if it were available. But the problem is, especially right now, with this shelter in place where we're not allowed to leave our houses, I can't go to the gym. The gym is literally closed. And so I have to be a little bit more con conscious. Con wow, conscientious? Anyway, I have to be a little bit more mindful of my calorie consumption because um, right now I can't go to the gym. So I actually stumbled across this little thing called shirataki noodles and they are fantastic. They are literally zero calorie and you still get that satisfaction of eating noodles. And so one thing that I really liked them in was ramen. And so I decided to try to come up with a vegan ramen, low carb, low calorie recipe. And I think I freaking nailed it guys. It is so good. So with that being said, I'm gonna hop into the kitchen and share with you how I made this. Okay, for this ramen, you're going to need only a few ingredients and then whatever veggies you wanna to add to it. The most important ingredients you will need for this recipe are the noodles and the miso soup base. The thing though is finding these noodles called shirataki, which are calorie free, or I've also seen some that are very low calorie and are made out of white yam flour. I found these at a local grocery store, but any Asian food market should have them. Next, you want to grab some vegan miso soup mix, and I say vegan because a lot of them have bonito flakes in it, which is fish. And this brand that I found doesn't have bonito in it, so it is vegan, and it comes in these little individual packets. Anything else you want to throw into this is up to you, but I use some freeze-dried wakame, which I love, but it's seaweed, so if you don't like that like fishy, oceanic flavor, I would definitely leave it out. But personally, I love it, so I'm going to include it. And then you'll just need some soy sauce, some garlic powder, some sriracha if you like spicy, and whatever veggies you would like. So to begin, rinse the shirataki noodles off. I poured them into a sieve and rinsed them with water because as the package likes to say, they have an aroma. Okay, so after rinsing the shirataki noodles and setting them aside, I grabbed a pan and I cooked the veggies I decided to use, aka what I had in the fridge, which were broccoli and shiitake mushrooms. To get these started, I added a little oil into a pan and then some soy sauce right over the top of my broccoli and browned them up for a couple of minutes. Once they were cooked to the firmness that I liked, I transferred them out onto a plate and then put my mushrooms in the pan next with a little soy sauce and about a tablespoon of water. That fried up pretty quickly, so after turning them once, I put them on a plate as well. Cooking the veggies took only a couple of minutes, so now I was ready to make this super simple low carb ramen. I took my drained shirataki noodles and put them in a pot that was on medium heat and then I drizzled them with about a tablespoon to maybe two tablespoons of soy sauce. This gives them a rich umami flavor that they need since they literally taste like nothing. Then I added in a packet of the miso soup mix and about a cup of water and a dash of dried wakame. Wakame expands a lot, so you only need about a tablespoon, believe me. I've actually used more and it literally took over the entire soup and it looked like, I don't know, like a swamp. So just use a little bit. Feel free to add in another packet of the soup mix. I actually used about another half of a packet, but this is all completely up to how flavorful and salty you want this. Okay, so once it was heated through, I very carefully poured or 
I guess more like dumped my soup right into a big bowl and layered in my veggies around the side of the bowl. After doing this, I added in a squirt of sriracha and that completed this ramen. This ramen on a scale of easiness is just about a single step more difficult than just instant ramen. I mean, it is so simple. It took only a few ingredients and a few minutes to make, and like I said, these noodles are calorie free, but you still get that satisfaction of eating noodles, and in my opinion, that's what ramen is all about. It just wouldn't be ramen without a mouthful of slurpable noodles that will absolutely burn your mouth and get broth everywhere. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on any of my healthy, easy vegan recipes. And I will see you guys very soon. Stay well, guys. I love you all.